Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Wednesday here. End of October, 28th of October, getting towards Halloween. Euro took a little bit of a beating late there because of this uh, quarantine. Um, quarantine comments from old Mackie Macron. Euro yen on the slide here. 74 the low trading now at 82 down through this 123 area um, this probably has further to go so you want to be core short this euro yen um, looks like we're going to attack this uh, 122.40 quarantine is not great for any uh, block of countries but um, you know Things were anemic and crappy here before, growth-wise, economically. This is a real kick in the balls, uh, also psychologically, for people here in Europe. Um, most, I would say, and I would be in that camp as well, thought we were just going to muddle through this and and hope for some sort of herd immunity or get a vaccine, uh, but looks like we're going the other way. Uh, and we're going to try and slow it, slow the infection rate down, um, and just I guess pray about the mortality rate. Again, I'm as frustrated as the next person. I have no idea uh, what the strategy should be, but here we are, uh, and this will be negative uh, today. UK, I actually haven't seen the news. Eventually, this is probably going to happen in the UK as well. Um, not sure what to do with cable. Dollars are doji yesterday, printed that exact 09 low. It's almost like a crazy town. Uh, so there's a double bottom down there, 10 handles away. It's pretty straightforward here. If you think the double bottom holds, uh, you leave a stop at eight and a half. You get long here, uh, and if you don't think it holds, you don't get short here. If you don't think it holds, you wait, right? Um, and then you smash it if it gets down through. Um, the technically driven people will wait for a new high, which will be sixteen twenty-five twenty. But it sure is an interesting chart. You got two things. You got the big blue wave negative dollar trade. If you believe in that, which a lot of people do believe in, in play here, um, that's the sell dollars are. And then the buy dollars are is just the normal logical person who knows that the global economy is going to zero and South Africa will be in the vortex of hell. Because uh, their growth prospects are, are zero. Uh, and then there's a whole host of other problems going on with their economy. As you can imagine, uh, dollar max, exactly the same chart. It's just pretty straightforward now, right? Uh, 2084, or really 2083.5, which was yesterday's low. We've already made a new high in dollar max. We'll have to see. There will be some um, volatility in the sort of MEX CAD sector, BOC, today, so keep an eye on that. Dollar uh, CNH back higher. This should um, help, help us sell Aussie, um, but it's not really working that. The dollar. Um, CNH is now approaching this super, well, not even super key. It's not even that super key, but it looks like it's turned dollar CNH. And this is sort of, we keep an eye on this to see how euro is going to do and big dollar in general is going to do. But looks like there's more dollar buying to go uh, based on dollar CNH. Let's flip back to euro. This 85 level uh, was the resistance. We got down to um, 60, 69. Um, if you believe.
even this little death knock here, we could get up to 99, which is kind of the breakdown. Super late this happened, right? This happened at the just at the turn of the value date. So liquidity was, was uh, you know, terrible. And a lot of people probably missed this. So there will be, I think, some sellers today between uh, here and the figure. Where does the pain begin for all of the longs? This line here is the sort of the trend line. So this is the little short-term line. This is the long-term trend line, right? Sixty-three is the trend line. It's upward sloping, so it gets higher every day. This is a line to watch. We like being short euro yen, uh, but euro dollar also. There's pain on the left-hand side. We've talked about it. We didn't know when it was going to happen. Now it looks like it's news-driven. Uh, careful, euro downside. Dollar yen looks like dog shit. This is a huge level 104. One of the reasons we like euro yen versus uh, euro yen versus euro dollar is this yen component. A lot of people have given up on dollar yen downside because they think bonds are going to collapse. We also do think bonds are going to collapse, but the correlation between yield and dollar yen I don't think is is super relevant these days. Um, so. 104 the figure everyone and their mother and their grandmother and dog will be watching 104 the figure I suggest you watch to make a plan now what you want to do Gold not doing much uh, If this were heading left, it would be more bearish for euro, but it's not heading left We talked about fading ZP ZB three points above the lows, which will be 174 and a quarter um Approaching that level now, 19 was the high. We like ZB tactical shorts here, 174 and a quarter or up towards 175 uh, heading into the election. Bitcoin's not really moving. Let's go to ES. It did not look too big, does it? This looks like it has further downside. Following on this sort of quarantine <coughs> stuff. Um, we'll see. We'll see what happens with the old ES. Looks bearish. Nazi also. Uh, where's the old Nazi? NQ. There she is. 11,557. Nazi looks less bearish, but we're below 11,6. Um, yesterday was kind of like. Just screwing with people, right? So 11,691 the high, 11,551 the low. We've been down to 07 today. Um, I'm sorry, 11,497 the low yesterday. Been down to 07 today. I guess it really gets bearish below 11,340, or actually looking at this chart, 11,200 is now really important. It certainly doesn't look good for global growth or stocks. A lot of bad shit's happening, virus driven. This is going to scare people. Um, hard to be brave, right? When you got this invisible enemy killing the weak in the herd and the media spooking the fuck out of everybody. Um, so hold on tight, people. Uh, and if you're not going to hold on tight, put on your diapers and go sit in the fetal position uh, do whatever you need to do I don't know I'm, I'm not uh, giving any advice on this but um, doesn't look good doesn't look good out there all right I've said enough uh, trading euro yen uh, downside watching this euro dollar trend line and we're watching this dollar yen level 104 make some dough out there people talk to you tomorrow